right guys, this video is going to be on my Droid Razor Max. And what I'm going to do is, you can see here I'm on stock. And I'm going to show you guys how to get into your stock recovery. Um, and your bootloader mode and all that kind of good stuff. So, also how to reset. So, basically, the first thing I want to show you is your reset. Um, if you're in an application, whatever it may be, camera or something, and your phone just like freezes it won't do anything it won't respond to any of your buttons down here and it's just sitting there stuck on something you're in gps whatever it is this is the way you fix that you can try holding your power button and it ain't doing nothing it won't shut off what you do is you hold right here this is your volume up and down and you hold your volume down and then you hold your power button okay and what this does is it will do a force reset You'll see here. Um, all right, and you see how it flashed? Uh, that flash is a force reset. Normally, a normal shutdown is um, where it will say, Android is shutting down. It's got a little circle thing spinning, and then it shuts off. So this is like a force reset to force your phone off when it's being goofy, it's, being, it's freezing up, screen's freezing up, something like that. Okay? Um... So, what it does is it does this. Let me also show you this. I'm going to turn the phone back off here. And what I'm going to show you is just how that reset looks from an off state. You'll see the phone flash by doing those same button combinations. So, let me do that really quick here. This is the normal shutting down window you'd see if you shut it down normally. Um, that's how it should normally shut down right here. Okay. You can see now let me show you from the off state if you hold that volume volume down and power watch what it does in the screen Just hold it see the screen flash at you that's because you did a reset okay and it's going to power up again so that's that's basically the reset um and it just helps the phone if you're frozen on something you can go ahead and try just doing the power uh, volume down and power button and do a reset all right so next thing I'm going to show you is how to go into uh, bootloader or boot mode selection mode um, and I'll show you how to do that and we'll go from there so hang on a sec again all right so now the phone is shut off and you want to get into bootloader mode so what we're going to do is you're going to hold both the uh, volume up and down and the power button. So push the volume up and down first. So we'll push those down. And then we're going to hold the power button. All right. So this is it. Um, it says boot mode selection menu. Um, basically, it tells you that if you volume down, it scrolls through your options. And if you push volume up, it selects. So if you're going to um, flash or restore a ROM, whatever you want, fast boot um, your ROM to restore it, you're probably going to go into this AP fast boot mode and you're going to select up and it's going to start AP fast boot mode. You'll hook your USB in and you'll restore your operating system. Uh, if you want to go into recovery, which is the other thing I want to show you guys how to do, you're going to go to recovery right here and you're going to select volume up. And this is stock Android recovery. And it's going to come up with... Should be a little Android guy laying on his side with a triangle coming out of his back. There we go. So now from this screen, what you're going to do is you're going to push both your volume up and down at the same time. Okay, so now we are in Android system recovery. All right. On the top, you have a couple options. You have Reboot System Now, which you will select with Power Button. Or you can scroll up and down with the volumes. And you have Apply Update from External Storage. So if you've downloaded an update and you want to update, you can do it here manually. Um, wipe Data Factory Reset. This will wipe off everything on the phone and set it back to factory. Um, whatever the ROM is that you have on it, it'll just reset it, set it to factory. If you want to sell your phone, whatever, you can do this this way. Um, wipe cache partition. Another thing you want to do if you're wiping data, you might as well, you want to wipe this. Or you can apply update from cache. Uh, whenever you get an OTA update, it gets stored in cache. That's why it says apply it from cache. So, 
This is basically what it does. If you guys get stuck in a boot loop or uh, your phone won't boot up for some reason, you might want to come in here because this will this will always boot up. Uh, come in here and do a data factory reset. It will wipe off everything on the phone back to stock, but it might make your phone boot up, and that's what we want to do. So that is how you get into Android recovery. That is how you reset your phone if it's frozen, and that is also how you go into bootloader mode or boot menu mode. So I'm going to say reboot system now, and it says rebooting right here. And there you go. That is your three resets, or whatever you want to call it, for the uh, Motorola Droid Razor. This is Droid Razor Max. It works for both. It's the same exact same thing. Um, keys, buttons, that's how you do it. It gets you basically into the firmware of the phone. I uh, hope you guys like this little video. Please give me a thumbs up if it helped you out. Uh, subscribe to my channel down below. Follow me on YouTube. Or I'm seeing, sorry, Twitter. Probably got that on there right there. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.